I'm here at Toronto Pearson International Airport. An adult traveling through this part of the airport has been confirmed with a case of the measles. And now Niagara Region of Public Health is sending out a warning. Before you go on vacation, do you make sure that you're up to date with your vaccination? I definitely do. Yes, in fact, I got hers done and um, I don't regret it at all. Not always the case, according to Dr. Adil Khan. Initially, this started when there was a paper that came out saying that maybe vaccines may increase your risk of autism. Mm -hmm. And since then, a lot of people feel like, oh, I shouldn't vaccinate my kid. There may be this risk. That's completely untrue, and we have enough research on that. And that paper's actually been retracted, that doctor's actually been, uh, you know, in trouble for that paper. And so there's no proof to this. Mm -hmm. uh, but unfortunately, there's still some parents who have misinformation and still believe that they don't need to vaccinate their kids. In this case, we don't know the age or sex of the traveler. Niagara Region Public Health says the person caught the infection while traveling in Cambodia and China before returning to Toronto. We know that these cases tend to be people who travel outside the country but haven't vaccinated their kid. And so they get exposed while traveling to Asia or Africa, not realizing that by bringing them there, they're going to bring it back here and expose people locally as well. Anyone who was at Pearson Airport on February 22nd between the hours of 6.20 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. may have been exposed to the virus. The virus detected at the West Lincoln Memorial Hospital in Grimsby on February 27th. The biggest complication that people may get is inflammation to the brain and then they may get seizures and ultimately they may uh, suffer uh, death. Ten cases of measles confirmed in a B.C. outbreak just a couple of weeks ago. An infant in Scarborough who traveled abroad also confirmed with a case of measles. Some parents practicing extra due diligence. My kids are vaccinated and uh, yeah, I try and see that it's where we're going is safe. Measles starts with a cough, runny nose, red watery eyes and fever. After about four days, a rash begins on the face and moves down the body. There may be white spots inside the mouth. Anytime you're going to travel, make sure you check with your doctor that you are up to date. And if you're unsure and you don't have your records, you can always call public health and they can tell you about your vaccination record. I think people need to be careful and get it vaccinated. It's important. You know, um, diseases that were eradicated should not be coming back. If you think you have the case of the measles and you need to see a doctor, walk-in clinic or the emergency department, Niagara Region of Public Health is asking that you call them beforehand so that health care providers could prepare for your care appropriately. Maliha Sheikh, City News, Toronto Pearson International Airport.